Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm trading the ES futures on a 2000 tick chart with a 21 EMA. So I've got the overnight highs up here, overnight lows down here. Now at first I was looking for some downtrend like this, or whoops, let me, like that. Uh, we didn't hold, you know, we barely had some reaction off of it, but that's not a hold right there. So I deleted it and just played this push down here, break, first leg at a new low, second attempt at a new low, failure, and then we went into this uptrend for a bit, then had this break, pushed up to a new high, and then went to, you know, this uptrend right here. And so like, this trade, I didn't get in on this trade because I wasn't trading. I stopped trading around uh, 12 o'clock right here, so around noon right here. And yeah, I, I ended up waiting a, couple, waiting a couple hours before I made this video because there was just no price action, no price action to go over. There's just really not as much, you know, lately it's just been really slow. So I wanted to wait, let some more price action form so I have more stuff to go over on this, you know, ES chart here. So... Uh, which I should probably copy this over right here because I didn't take that trade right there. But um, uh, so anyways, got the overnight highs, got the overnight lows. So we have this push lower, we have this break, first attempt at a new low. Then when we start pushing up here, that's when the range is getting a little bit more clear because you have this double bottom off of this overnight low right here. So you have this double bottom. We push up, we drag the high to there. We had a reaction off of it there, and then we broke out of it on the second leg. We had this first leg up, break, second leg up, and then we faded back in. Now, this is a pretty small picture trade right here. Now, I also want to point out this first attempt lower here and this second attempt lower here for this downtrend. Um, these are measured right here. So even though it has a reset, even though it uh, pushed higher here, these are still the two legs down for this downtrend uh, downtrend break. So these are measured. I did get out before this uh, measured leg right here. So and that <laughs> turns out that's exactly where it reacted. I was tempted to push it a little bit further, but this is just not a very big picture trade. This is just a, if we had gotten like a failed second entry, then I probably would have pushed it further depending on how it's set up. But um, even though you have that first entry long, second entry long, that's that's a very small picture. I just view this as a lower high, a lower high that kind of went sideways for a bit. So I was only viewing it for one to one to keep it within this uh, leg here. But, um, uh, but anyway, so we pushed out of that, we bounced, you know, about halfway through the range, we push back out. Now, this higher low right here, I I don't like this higher low, even though we pushed out strongly because it is still right into those highs and it's still reacting off of those highs right there. Um, someone was asking me about this. I don't think this is the best trade right here, but if you did enter it, I don't think that putting your stop right there would be a very good idea because that's not a very protected stop. Protected stop. If you're going to enter on something like this, I would put my stop all the way low, below here and then just go one to one, um, or keep it within this you know leg right here. But um, I was I was really looking for a you know reversal back into this range right here, even though we were off these overnight lows. You know we had this strong push down, and at this point right here, the, you know, there's it's, there's not much of a reason to go long, even though you have that higher low. It's just a really it's just a tick lower right there. Um, you know, once again, you're right into those highs still. So I I wasn't wanting to enter in that area, but um, after we had the second leg up though, you know, I'd, you know, like I said, I was looking for something to go short, get a second leg down for this range right here. But um, because at first you have this right here. You have this first leg up, break, second leg up. It does have a double bottom, but it can still react like that. But, you know, it can still react as two legs up, even though you have that double bottom there. But oftentimes when you get a double bottom, it will count as a reset. It won't always count as a reset, but clearly we ended up getting a second leg up from that, you know, double bottom here. So after we got that, I was looking for a reversal pattern back into this downtrend here, which I kind of got blindsided because I was really focusing on... So let me get this trend exact really quick. Um, I was really focusing on getting a reversal pattern back down. I was looking on getting a short for this range, and I kind of got zoned in on that, and I missed this wider uptrend right here, and I should have been looking, you know, after it shot above the EMA like that, I should have quickly switched gears and started looking to go long. But, um, yeah, it's just the market being this slow is, even though there's, like, more time to think about things, it makes it harder for me because it's, like, painful to look at the market when it's this slow and, you know, you know, it's taken forever for bars to form and everything. But, um, see, so yeah, I was hoping to get some like failed second entry back in here and go short around this area right here. But what happened was we had this uptrend that I didn't get till after, you know, this trade was done right here. I just really wasn't focusing enough. 
and we bounced off of it. We pushed off. We had, we rushed above the EMA, and we had room to this measured move right here, which is part of this trade right here. If we had reached this measured move to the tick and then just plummeted below, then I wouldn't really want to. I wouldn't want to go long here at all. But um, considering we had that measured move in place still, third bounce off this key entry point, your breakout pullback off this um, range right here, perfectly off of it there. And I only like it after it's above the EMA here. You don't want to enter into the EMA because it could still fade this range right here. So after it pushes above the EMA, you would just want to get in at a price with a limit order to where you have room to that uh, measured move right here. So um, anyway, we push up here, we push lower. I, I see right here that it went sideways for a bit and then you get this breakout, but that's not, I mean, you're still right into that over, I mean, not the overnight, but you're still right into that measured move resistance right there. So I wouldn't want to take that, but uh, we do push higher here though and then we plummet down and what i was hoping for was something like this i was wanting to get like a uptrend break first attempt higher break second attempt higher so like a clear two attempts at a new high failure but we ended up just plummeting straight through and yeah you see this small two-legged move right here first entry short second entry short i don't like how it had a very strong bar pushing right above the ema right before this bear bar right here, so I wasn't going to enter that anyway. Um, not to mention it does have STT in it, um, including with that, so which I should draw that out really quick. So there's that, and then also even on a shorter picture, it's got STT right there, so just thought I'd show that. I'm going to delete that to unclutter stuff, though. So anyway, we just push straight higher here. We plumb, not, I almost said plummeting higher, but we you know, shot up way higher here. And we got started to get this correction here, this correction here. Neither one of them reached the EMA, so there's really no reason to go long. You're also at the highs anyway of the high of this move right here. You don't want to enter directly into the high of this move. And then we started going sideways here. At first, you'd have it like, like this right here. So it's going sideways. You get this first breakout, second breakout, clear two legs down. And then after you get that second breakout, that's when you would actually lower this to uh, this swing right here. Um, now this is not off of anything at the time. Obviously this trend line is from these first two swings here. So you don't have this trend line at the time. This trend is not off of anything. Price has not been, also it's into the EMA, which price has not been chopping through the EMA. So there's really no reason to think the EMA would, you know, allow prices through, but it does. So we push higher here. Now this right here, this is higher low. It's not the worst looking trade, but you'd have to push it pretty far out of this range right here. You'd have to push it at least a couple points out. Let me draw the uh, restore board. I don't, it's set to one to two. I don't remember setting it back to that. But notice how you'd have to push it pretty far out of this range right here. And that's with entering pretty high up into this move right here. You know, you uptrend, break, new high. You can expect a possible reversal pattern and then you don't want to push it out of resistance like that. So this is just not a trade I would take. But um, we push higher here. Then we have this lower high right here. You don't want to enter that because even though you do have, you are at an area where you could reverse um, because this uptrend played out, clearly the EMA is still up. It held on the EMA, it could not close below, even though it ticked higher and almost trapped lower, it still couldn't close below the EMA there. So that's a sign that you might just go into a strong uptrend here. Um, and then we have the second leg down here, first leg down, second leg down, off this low right here which I would lower it to that wick at this point just to, you know, because you have these this breakout here and then it went a little bit lower with that. You'd want to keep it consistent. You bounce right off that trend, off the uh, range line right here, holding for a third time off this trend line right here. And then just one to one, you'd only have to push it one tick out, assuming you got in with a stop order. So to me, this looks good, but of course I didn't take it because I hadn't been trading at the time, but it does look good right there. We pushed higher, and then we have this pretty choppy trend down here. Notice we kind of just chopped lower. We pushed through the EMA. You don't want to go long there. Even though it's a breakout pullback, it couldn't get back above the EMA on that signal bar. And then we have this plummet below here, and we're nearly off. We basically bounced right off the key entry point. We have this green bar here. Clearly, it's an STT. It's in this downturn right here. That's not something I'm going to want to take. So... Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped in some way. Um, yeah, I'll see you all next time.